Hi, Tony Poulos here at Mobile World Congress 2023. Today I have with me Salil Rajay, who is the Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Adaptive and Embedded Computing Group at AMD. Hi Salil, one year after the acquisition of Xilinx by AMD, can you tell us about it and highlight some of the key benefits that you see now as being part of AMD? The acquisition by AMD of Xilinx has gone exceptionally well. Uh, there's been good culture match between the two companies. Uh, we can see that the IP portfolios are also very complementary. So now we can bring the entire IP portfolio that allows us to go from radios all the way to core to the, our customers. So we are one of the very few companies that can bring that entire portfolio to our customers. So let's focus on Mobile World Congress 2023. Can you comment on which AMD technology platform you are showcasing here? We are mostly focused on 5G uh, uh, wireless infrastructure. We are showcasing uh, 5G core, 5G RAM, as well as 5G radio. Now, uh, in 5G radio, uh, we are uh, you know, deploying two new uh, RFSOC devices. Uh, these devices can be deployed in 4T4R or 2T2R, as well as 3GPP8 split radios platforms. Uh, we are also showcasing you know, VRAN technology with some of our partners. Uh, and you know, we, if you see, uh, you know, go to our booth, we have 13 radios from all different vendors that are deploying our technology. So Salil, ORAN is still a buzz in the industry, but what's your view on this? Where are we at? So ORAN has not met our expectations in terms of deployment. Uh, you know, there are analysts who talk about 20% uh, market share with ORAN in 2027. Uh, we believe that you know, they are not hitting the milestones that they need to hit to get to that market share. And nevertheless, ORAN, we believe, is the future. Uh, you know, it allows people, to, uh, the ecosystem to come in uh, you know, with disaggregated infrastructure to come in and innovate. Uh, so we are a big supporter of ORAN. Uh, we have done a lot of investment in ORAN as well. Uh, our radios, if you look at uh, our devices that go into our radios, are ORAN capable. Uh, but at the same time, we uh, are also focused on the traditional infrastructure that is more custom-built, purpose-built infrastructure as well. And what's your view on the 5G radio market evolution for the next few years? What do you see happening? So 5G is now maturing. Uh, many of the geographies, if you look at you know, 5G deployments, they're mostly stabilizing and most of the deployments have been because of capacity limitations, but that's more, more or less behind us. Now, there are some markets where things are changing. You know, India, for example, you know, it's ramping very quickly. Uh, last year, uh, end of last year was a, you know, they, they had a very strong start and it's continuing on through this year. Uh, but for the most part, you know, in most other countries and geographies, you know, we see a saturation. Now, Things will change though as new applications get built. You know, we are still looking for the killer app you know, to be deployed on 5G. Once that comes in, you know, we will see another refresh cycle of 5G and then we'll get into advanced 5G and, 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 and beyond. Thanks, Salil. It's been great having you with us today. Thank you. Thank you.